Well, folks, a lot of people are mad right now because Stellar Blade is getting censored. Yeah, I wish I could say psych right now, but it's the truth. Sony is censoring the game, not just one thing, two things. There are multiple things getting censored. The dev also responded, and you want to hear his response. Get ready for the main event, get ready for the climax. Like the video if you do not want this game getting censored. I guess it's too late, but still, you don't want more things getting censored. Like the video for that. Dislike the video if you want Stellar Blade getting censored big time. You remember? And mind you this, mind you this, if you remember, Sony, we're talking PlayStation, we're talking Sony, the same Sony that had Abby, Brock Lesnar looking dude, wide ass shoulders, getting his ass pounded, his cheeks clapped in 4K, ray tracing, the only part that I don't remember is, uh, was it in 60 FPS or not 60? Bruh. That's the part I don't remember, you let me know in the comments, but this is problematic guys, roll it, hey. wait for it. Now ever since the hype behind this game was building, there was always an ongoing concern that there would be censorship in the official yeah. release of this game. Uh -oh. And one of the big marketing points that has been pushed by this company is that Stellar Blade was going to offer the same uncensored version in all countries. This is something that people were very excited about, yeah. and it made yeah. journalists very mad who claimed that this uncensored release <laughs> yeah. was gonna be man brothers were like we're gonna be taking notes while playing the game brothers are taking notes not not denying that brothers are already taking notes but without playing the game you see because brothers are taking notes about everything that is getting censored get it Bruh. that's what something happens. diabolical and bad however we would see immediate yeah. censorship take place right as this game was making its official release. Yeah. We saw journalists complaining about this right here, the combination of- And, and we talked about it in the last video, right? And, and personally, and still, I'm not too uh, worried. It's not a big deal. Is it a big deal to you or is it uh, is it not? To me, this is not a big deal. Hard R, they removed it from the game because it has a connotation with the actual hard R word. If you're in the West, you know what I'm talking about. It has that. Personally, I have no problem. And that's what I said in the last video. The problem I have is that you give them your finger, they're gonna take your entire hand. You give them an inch, they're gonna take a mile. So when does it stop? The, the, the answer is it never stops and exactly that's what's going on. There are multiple things. If you think that there, there are only two things, wait for the climax, wait for the plot twist, guys. There are more than two things getting censored in this oh, one. Shit. The hard graffiti next to the R Shop logo and they claim that this was offensive, a hard R reference. Yeah. And of course, to the displeasure of many, this would be patched out. This would be yeah. censored by Stellar Blade as soon as it was discovered by these journalists. And say what you want, but that is an act of censorship. Now, yeah, moving forward, yeah, a lot of people yeah. were looking forward to the release, the official release uh -oh. today, to see if there's more changes, in particular, if there's going to be changes involving the outfits that the main yeah. protagonist... You see this long-ass ponytail? That's next, guys. They're gonna nerf that too. <laughs> Eve is Hopefully wearing. Not. Hopefully well, not. we have an article here by Niche Gamer that is definitely a very good guide as we go through this video. And also, I'm gonna add some things on that they have not gotten to yet. But they say that Stellar Blade developer Shift Up acknowledges the outfit censorship. More oh, players no. provide video evidence of these changes. Oh, so let's get no. into the article. It says yesterday fans came forward surprised to see different versions of the, the holiday, holiday rabbit, rabbit costume in Stellar Blade. As a result, accusations and misinformation overtook the discourse. The first signs of censorship in Stellar Blade appeared online when users who received physical editions of the game noticed that the Holiday Rabbit outfit was different after the game was patched. This was later thought to be a possible hoax after footage before the Day 1 patch showed the censored outfit. So there is a ton of misinfor misinformation surrounding the subject, <laughs> and a lot of people are very- Man, gamers were like, no bro, it's a, it's a, <laughs> it's a bug, it's a bug, they're not gonna do it, they're not gonna do it. They are doing it right now, bro, they are doing it, bro. What the hell, and we're talking about the same Sony, why, why, why y'all say is doing it right now, bro? We're talking about the same Sony. This is stunning and brave. Obviously, I cannot show you the actual scene, but you know what I'm talking about, right? Abby Brock Lesnar, this, Abby can beat Brock Lesnar in real life, bruh. bruh. This is how strong he was in the game. Getting his ass clapped, cheeks clapped, ass pounded in 4K, 60 FPS. Uh, I'm not sure, was it 60? I could be wrong. Maybe it was 60 on the PS5, but on PS4, I think it was 60 without the ray twitching. But you could have played the game 4K ray twitching and, and see Abby Brock Lesnar looking dude. Uh, dude that could, looks like that he could beat up uh, Brock Lesnar, let's just say, right?
uh, getting his ass clipped. That uh, yeah, his walls were getting broken live, and we all saw that in the game, right? So that was stunning and brave. But yeah, oh God forbid that hetero gamers, hetero men see Abby. Yeah, ew, brother, ew, brother, ew. Right? That's what's going on, man. What the hell is going on right now, man? Very confused. Even people with good intentions are confused as to what's going on, specifically with this holiday rabbit costume. Now, first thing that people saw was. Screenshots like this, they're going around on yeah. Twitter showing a claim that this was the uncensored pre patch version. Good intention, define that. And another thing before I forget, yeah, they removed the hard R, right? For me, not a big deal. That's what I was talking about. To a lot of people, it's not a big deal. Gen I, I, I don't want to know where you at. Because for me, is that like, okay, you're removing one thing, two things from the game. For me at least, uh, you can disagree, uh, for me not a big deal, the big deal is that, for, uh, two things, first of all you say that you're not gonna censor the game, and you did it, secondly is that, when does it stop, right, you censor one thing, two thing, now you're gonna be asked to censor more stuff, a and this game is so, it's getting so much uh, praise right now, it's getting so much cloud, it's getting so much good, uh, let's just say promo, uh, people are aware, a lot of people are looking to buy this game, yeah, sure, and this, it seems like that it's gonna be a banger, and it's gonna sell very well, and I'm certain that the dev team is already thinking about Stellar Blade 2, Stellar Blade 10 right now, they're probably thinking about the future content of the game, what about that, right, so if they are censoring this now, Next, whenever they're gonna come out with part two or future content, future DLC, in the back of their mind, they're gonna be like, yeah, okay, so we have to censor this. Next next time when we're making, we gotta censor this and that. The problem is that it never stops, bro. It never stops. Once you cave in, once you bend the knee, you're gonna always censoring. And, and this part, I'm not entirely sure, correct me if I'm wrong, but hard art, negative connotation with the N-word. Uh, and all that okay fair you remove it you remove it although it didn't mean that right it didn't need it to be censored so they censored it now for crime r which means completely different else and guess what they're asking for that to be removed for two yeah yeah because it means something else as well it's apparently a bad word as well so there's that and now they they get and next up they're gonna remove her ponytail version of this alpha you can see there's more cleavage here and then on the patched version you can see they added a little black shirt behind the initial outfit that obviously hides some of the cleavage it is a censored version of this outfit now some people are claiming that this is a hoax or fake or edited or something like that because other people who have yeah. reviewer copies of this game said that this has been the case all along this shirt underneath the initial outfit has always been a part of it this user saying on the left is the bunny suit recorded on 414 on my let's play on the right is the bunny suit recorded today on day one patch so people were claiming that those other examples must be misinformation yeah, and we see some patched. other footage with this <laughs> censored version dating back to april 4 april 24th which is obviously before the official release now what is going on well it seems that niche gamer uh -oh. has the same thought process that i do about this and here's their claim what appears to be the case is that reviewers who received a digital copy of the game were yep. actually playing a 1.01 .01 patch as opposed to the game as it as was it shipped. Was ship. This transitional patch between the original game and the day one 1.02 patch appears to have been what censored the outfits. The information- <gasps> oh, No way! No way! I cannot believe it! I can absolutely not believe it, bruh. This is a felony! This is a crime! And don't count how many times I talked about Abby the Brock Lesnar and I better not see I would have a million dollars, but this is perfectly fine. This is perfectly fine. This is stunning. This is brave But this is a uh, problematic. This is toxic. This is like brother you brother you or oh, yeah, bro Like we're what we talking bro. What the hell is going on in gaming? Microsoft before yeah, because I, I know like the Xbox are gonna clown on PlayStation <laughs> PlayStation fans always clown on Xbox Andes. Uh, yeah, it happens always with Sony ponies on Xbox Andes guys it's industry-wide problem. We talked about it in the past video as well. The bigger the publisher, the bigger the studio is, more of this woke crap is gonna be in the game. This is apparently stunning. This is brave. So, yeah, this is Microsoft. They're telling their devs, hey, no curvy female characters allowed. A and this is Sony. I mean, they're not saying in on front that no curvy female characters allowed, but deep down, th they are also saying no curvy female characters allowed. So it's happening... Microsoft is doing it, PlayStation is doing it, and I always see these comments, right? Brothers are always like, okay, it's like, okay, well, we're, we're gonna boycott everything. Let's boycott this, let's boycott that. At this point, bruh, we're gonna be 
boycotting. We're gonna be boycotting. <laughs> We're gonna be boycotting everything. Now, I'm not saying, and I never said in the past video because you're an adult uh, or you're a teenager. I mean, you can, you're your own person. You can make your own decisions. If you wanna boycott, go for it. If you don't wanna boycott, hey man you can keep on buying that's your decision that's a personal decision okay so i've never i'm never gonna be the guy that would tell you that because now it's happening everywhere so does that mean that you boycott playstation you boycott xbox i know pc master is gonna be like well i got a pc bro like so i don't even need a playstation xbox yeah i, I get it boo boo that you got a pc but yeah I, I see a lot of comments from you guys saying that i'm gonna boycott this i'll, I'll I, I see where you're coming from in respect but like i i think awareness is number one and also, also, I guess talking with your money is very important as well. So if you see a product that you like, go for it. If you feel like that the product's not for you, you feel like that it's going too woke and you don't like it, yeah, man, vote with your wallet. It's important. But awareness is also equally important as well. Information about the uncensored outfits came from individuals who received their physical editions early and played the game unpatched, which at the time meant that it was difficult to verify. In the hours since Stellar Blade became available, more Wait users have begun speaking up about the censorship and have been uploading videos of the uncensored outfits. So we're going to look at the examples in a second, but basically, in a nutshell, the version that people are claiming was the original one from days ago Ow. is actually a patched version. This reviewer copy that they're playing has already been patched with these censored outfits. The physical release that came out today is the original unpatched version containing these uncensored outfits. Yes, it looks like there is censorship and there's videos showing proof of that. You can see users like this releasing their perspective with the physical copy. You can see right here, this is the original <laughs> unpatched version of this outfit without oh the shirt underneath. God. If you go here, you can see, they'll go into their interface and they will show everything going on. This right here is the outfit that yeah. was before the patch. Damn. The the reviewer copy that people are using as proof that this never existed, they're playing a patched version of this game. The physical copy just hasn't been patched yet, and people who are getting the physical copy and then adding and installing this new patch are uh -oh. seeing this outfit get censored. This outfit has been censored. I think it's very clear that is the case right now. Yeah. And of course, we have further... A and we have this dev video as well, right as we get down to the climax, and then we have a main event, guys, wait for the main event. I want to say if you have Twitter instagram or twitch if you have all three that's cool but if you just use twitter or instagram i would love to have you there all the handles are the same it's skizzle likes links are always in description if you have uh, twitter i would love to have you over on twitter or instagram uh, we're gonna soon start streams as well over on twitch hopefully uh, i would definitely love to have you there because you never know man you never know that's all i'm saying links are always in description all right let's get back down to the content now boo boo evidence here coming from the related subreddit where we have the director of Stellar Blade acknowledge that people are upset about some censorship and changes that have taken place with the physical release versus other digital updates and patches and this is something that makes it pretty clear what he's talking about. Okay. Uh oh that's not good. So is there anything in a rolling back to the version before the censorship? Yo people asking him that? Okay. And also wanted to ask you whether recognizing the issue regarding this, uh, and he replies, understandably, we also recognize about this issue. However, the final costume that we wanted to show you is indeed the costume in the version 1.0012. I want to clarify, that is our final product. However, I know this answer is not enough to convince our, let's just say, fans. There is an internal discussion ongoing regarding this. Yo! Oh, so I think we'll have a chance to answer it soon. Yo, so it was Sony all along. It was Sony all along. Context provided by the director here. I think it's very obvious what happened. This was an outfit that was censored and altered in some sort of a way between the original physical copy and the patch version of this game. And that is something that people are upset about. And he is trying to convince people that, yes, it looks like censorship, but it's actually perhaps the final version we always wanted to go with, which I think is trying to cover their own tracks because this is something you would expect out of a company that is dealing with Sony. Sony is very pro-censorship, yeah. and I'm not surprised that Stellar Blade would have difficulty trying to preserve some of these outfits. Yeah. Now, moving forward, I want to address one uh -oh. more thing. A lot of people are spreading this screenshot. I believe this post has been taken down, but people are using this as it? another example of censorship, and it was causing more confusion. And it's titled here, Alternative Holiday Rabbit in NG+. You can see it is that same rabbit costume. It's just a different color, but it does have that little patch of clothing to hide some of the cleavage. Now, I think this is the result of something separate. I think, and this is just my personal opinion, I believe this is an alternative version of this rabbit costume that they are adding into this 
edition of the game. You can see okay. in their initial okay. post here, okay. Stellar Blade New Game Plus mode, available on launch launch. April 26. Right. Fair. If you go down Fair. here, you'll see that there's an expanded wardrobe in this release, a whopping 34 oh, new shit. outfits for Eve to earn in New Game Plus. Both of these changes oh, came despite assurances. And, and now there's like this one. Now, this is a part that I did not know till uh, Rev, uh, his channel name is Rev says D Disu, links in the description as always, till he brought this up. This is absolutely crazy. Check this. shipped up that the game would be uncensored for all regions. And you can okay, yeah, he did say that the game is going to be uncensored, but then it's like you got the before and you got the after. Here. See, posts like this showing the proof that on the left, you have the pre-patched version where she is covered in blood whenever blood heads in her direction. And this is the patch version where the blood yeah. has been toned down and no longer sticks to her body when it lands. Yeah, them removing, like like I was saying, right? One or, uh, them removing one or two things, that's not the problem. The issue is that once you remove and censor one thing, then you have to bend the knee and then you have to censor the rest of the stuff, right? Do you blame the dev? Do you blame the director, the guy that was speaking? Do you blame Sony? Who do you blame in this situation? Do you blame both of them equally, uh, the the publisher and Sony as well? Uh, the dev, the, the 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 I guess Sony is the publisher. So do you blame Sony, the publisher, or do you blame the dev, or do you blame both of them? And, and this gives uh, this argument a lot more credibility, right? Because once you censor one thing, a lot more uh, a lot of other stuff would get cancelled and censored as well, banned, censored, whatever you want to call it. And that's what's uh, that's what we're seeing right now. In itself, one or two thing is not a big deal, but then it's like you actually got gameplay stuff now getting censored. So yeah, crazy man. This censorship thing never stops. This like wool crap never stops as well. Once you bend the knee, this is what happens. I I, I definitely want to know your there. thoughts too. again. But this wait is for censorship, it. pure and simple. I mean, it's not like the most egregious, horrifying act of yeah. censorship, but it is censorship. And people- know To me, still not a big deal. The big deal is definitely the part that now that the cat is out of the bag, everybody's gonna see the cat, first of all. What I mean by this is that now one thing has been censored, a lot of other stuff is gonna get censored too. So that that's the big problem. Normally would be very upset. And just because you like this game or shift up doesn't mean you should overlook this. So basically, what are we taking away from this? Well, we know a couple things. We know that there have been acts of censorship already committed by Stellar Blade, whether it's the result of Sony pushing them or not, it doesn't change the fact that it is in fact happening. Now, a lot of people have had emotional yeah. responses to this and yeah. I, I definitely caution against it. Some people are just immediately throwing their hands up in the air and saying this game is compromised. Yeah. It's beyond. A lot of brothers are like, please say psych. Yeah, I, I'm seeing this too. Like a lot of brothers are really, really like, but, but I, do I blame the brothers? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Because brothers have only seen female characters in the game like this. You know, this is our modern day female game uh, game characters. Very feminine, nothing feminine about it, but uh, yeah, that's that's what we're seeing in video games. This is for modern gaming audience, guys. Modern gaming audience. <laughs> then on the other hand, you got Abby Brock Lesnar. This guy can definitely beat up like uh, Brock Lesnar, even Big Show when he was in his prime, right? And break the uh, entire WWE ring, yeah, bro. Like th this is what we're talking about. So gamers, uh, brothers are brothers and gamers, or brothers that play gaming, Bruh. gamers. Let's just say gamers and toxic gamers were always labeled as toxic gamers, right? Yeah, like for the longest amount of time, we didn't had like a feminine female character. So surely brothers caught feelings. Brothers were talking about how they're gonna be taking notes while playing the game. They're taking notes without playing the game, and they're taking notes about the stuff that's getting censored. And saving. Right now, and some people are overlooking everything that's happening and saying, oh, well, whatever. I'm just gonna play the game. Anyways, I don't really care if there's this censorship. It's not a big deal. And yeah. I think there's a lot to unpack here. A lot wow. of these things can be true at the same time. Sony can be putting pressure on Shift Up to censor this game, Probably. while also Shift Up actively censoring the game. And you can Could also be. wanna play this game and see these changes fixed. Now, where are we? Again, Sony. We're dealing with yeah. Sony. Okay, Sony is one of the biggest uh, offenders of random acts of censorship you will ever see. This is something that was already kind of acknowledged by the director of Shift Up and Yoko Taro, who is the creator of, of course. The madman Yoko knew Kim wouldn't pass Sony strict rules with Stellar Blade. Kim was at gunpoint. Damn. Hashtag free Stellar Blade. Was near Autonoma. So in an interview, they were going back and forth. <laughs> they wanted to ask if there was any fights with Sony Interactive Entertainment since they are publishing Stellar Blade, where the director would say, he would glance around the staff members in the room and laugh, the people at SIE are very, very nice. And then Yoko would say, SIE staff members are pulling faces I've never seen before. I wish the readers of this article could see it. There's definitely some sort of attention and an acknowledgement between these creators that yes, there is some sort of a censorship issue yeah. when you're dealing with Sony. And that's yeah, not yeah, yeah, something yeah. that's surprising. We've seen how 
brutal they've been with their censorship especially of japanese products where they have routinely tried to tone down anything they can in these games yeah. in fact the reason a lot of people are angry about this is because there seems to be a weird bias when it comes to certain games versus others they're trying yeah. to censor and basically button up the designs of eve and stellar blade <laughs> yeah, while they're yeah. also simultaneously selling games like baldur's gate 3 that has full-on nudity and an option for players yeah. to have sex with bears like it's damn damn Whoa. I was not aware about I was not aware of that. Yeah, so a lot of the degenerate stuff is allowed, but like normal stuff is the uh, hetero stuff is not allowed, right? And, and obviously, like you bring in like we talked about it, like I, I guess you're gonna be a millionaire after watching this video. If you're at this point, you're a millionaire, man. <laughs> Stop counting. <laughs> Stop counting how many times I said. But guys, recently we had this black rock situation, ESG situation that got exposed. We got the entire ESG rating score got exposed. I'm not sure if you've seen this video or not. This is a big deal, man. This really is a big deal. Check this video out and I'll see you right there because they're trying to censor this video too. On the left, this video is on my second channel. Guys, second channel. Yay. Check out both of these videos and I'll see you right there.